you know, seek shelter. You know, that weather, that weather, it's kind of crazy, man. But Spirit of the Lord, yep, yep. lead us in the right direction. And that's how the scripture says it's going to be in that time, was it? Um, yes, it is. Spirit. That yeah, was a Proverbs 2020. What? Got you. Nice. Slot here. This is the book of Proverbs. Slot here. Chapter 20. Right? And verse. Slot here. Here we go. Proverbs 20 and verse 21. And it reads. Proverbs 21 and 1. Yeah. No, 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 no. Proverbs 20 and 24. That's, that's what it's like here. All right. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Yahweh mm -hmm. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, you can't understand your own way. Man. So the Lord, like we're going into even the time of famine, the uh, Lord going to feed us, man. You're going, the Spirit is going to come in your mind, know where to go. You know, we're going to be all right, man. We're going to eat. We're going to clean up. You know what I mean? And only, like we said, the only way you woman now, because that's been cut, that's a hot topic now amongst Jake. Uh, 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 these hoes be not over, man. Yeah, they're not over at all. They just, and a lot of you going to die this time, man. We, we just right. went into how cyber attacks, when it's just how the economy is bad, all right? And we just went into how a lot of people are to lose their jobs because of this whole mandate, man. And we know when the, the micro come is going to be even worse. And it's going to, like mm. we said, there's going to be other attacks happening in place as well, man. Right. Society is about to be left desolate. Yeah. See? Lord willing, it could be this year, man. Kind. Lord willing, man. We're sick and tired of this place. Yeah. You know? The Lord going to cause it. The, the arrogance of the proud to cease. You know? And, that, and that's you, Jake's. That's Esau, Heathens, and especially you, Eves. Proud as all hell, man. You see? And, and, and the Lord is speeding things up, man. That's why you've seen the chariot sightings. You know, it's, it's an omen of what's for to come. You see, and, and that's a, that's a, um, uh, a, a curse to these, to these wicked Israelites. A curse to these so sort of force. You know, they're going to destroy these people, man. They're going to deliver the Lord. They're going to be a part of that. But it's a time that we in, man. And the Lord willing, you know, like I said, the Lord willing to have to man. Because, man, like, man, things speeding up. You know, things speeding up. They're making it where you don't got no, you don't got the, the deep pop shot. You can't work. You know, certain things, so we know it's right next, man. We know it's the MOTV. You know, this NWO agenda, we know he's about to set it up because he see the chairs as well. And he's like, I gotta speed things up now, man. You know? So all hell getting ready to break loose, man. All these different cyber attacks that's, that's orchestrated, we know by the elites, man. You see this? They then they blame it on Russia, which this show is also World War Three about to pop off. You know? So we know we know the town we in, man. You see? That's why the scripture says second edge was nine and one. Get that scripture, man. Right. Second Edges of the nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Measure the times diligently. You know, we measuring the times. That's right. You know, we're not getting caught up in all this back to normal shit. That's a bunch of bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. And they did that so you people, your guard is back down. They're talking right. about we giving you incentives to take this madness, man. Since when the government was ever that charitable, man? Oh, we're going to give away a million dollars a week to whoever gets common sense to think like, nah, that doesn't make sense, man. You know what I mean? Because they're going real hard, yeah, more friends. Because yeah. they know you're not going to live long enough to, to enjoy it. We brought out that the uh, the first guy who took it, the very first guy who took it is dead. In Britain. The very first guy to take it back in November, he's now dead. Man. No, December. So within a couple of months, the man is out of there, man. And a whole bunch of the people that got taken out, the media is not reporting on it. Okay? People got policy in their face. They're getting fever, chills, necrolepsy, can't sleep. Yeah, you know, you. people, I've seen on the common people who took it, they said that, yo, I'm having C19 symptoms right now. Right? Because they actually gave it to you. Mm. You see? And like we said, now Verizon and everybody keep talking about 5G technology. Oh, yeah. All right? That's springing up everywhere. Right. That's the big thing. And they, that's what they're doing all 2020, putting yeah, up them, them 5G them towers. towers. Yeah, them towers. Everything goes hand in hand. Yep. Right? And if we brought out now in the sea, they, they also talking about the zombie apocalypse, oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. So we know once they turn up the towers, your body going to react with those that took the thing. You know? And then we know, who knows what the hell going to happen to you. We got people that are taking that, getting bell palsy, they're dying, getting paralyzed, they're twitching. 
then you got some that are taking it, and they getting the C19, uh, C1 Nueve symptoms, and then you got those that, that quote unquote feel fine. Okay, we say turn the five hours, you're gonna turn to something totally different, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, people are not living long with this thing, man, and that's the whole point. Like you said in Utopia. Oh, yeah? He said, uh, they've got thousands of millions of Americans lining up to put our creation in their arms. Our creation. So those that do live, the way you saw set it up, you're going to be sterile. And if you do live, and you have children, you're going to pass whatever you got down to your children. The elite is, woo, the elite. You see? That's what scripture says, uh, was it, uh, we got Micah 2 and 1. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1, and it reads, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. They work evil upon their beds, man. You people don't have a clue, and our people don't have a clue how wicked Esau is. They don't. You don't have a clue, man. Oh, racism is done. This man, been he never stopped plotting against you, man. But he's just more crafty with his devices now. You don't need the Ku Klux Klan going around hanging you niggas. That's, that's played out, man. He's doing shit on a high level now with his science. That's right. You don't put fluoride in, in, um, uh, in your water in, in certain neighborhoods, putting junk food on every corner. You know, you don't even know what the hell you're eating, man. Okay? Hitting your baby with all kind of shots when they're born. Putting shit in the water that's, that's making your, your kids more and more gay or homosexual. They put something down there in the water in Atlanta because all them niggas down there is a bunch of foxy boys, man. Yeah. They said about like 80% is either they gay or they go both ways. So he saw there's something down there, man. All right? All right? He think iniquity upon his bed. He's, do, he's doing shit on And now with this Maxine, crazy thing, but this Maxine, more of his people took it than anything. See? Because he, he looked at them as um, undesirables, man. Yeah. All right? And that's how you know his kingdom is out of here because it's divided. You know, uh, Satan's kingdom divided against itself, man. Uh, you dumbass Edomites, you taking this shit, man. The hell with you, man. All right? You, you're a two-time loser. All right. All right, go ahead. Gone. Uh, Reading on down, it says, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. It's in the power of his hands. Right. All right? So they, the scripture says that what? They, they think of iniquity upon their beds. Okay? When people are sleeping at night, they're thinking of more crafty ways to destroy you, man. And now what's on their mind now is depopulation, man. All right? Because according to them, if they don't do this in the very near future, people are going to be fighting for the basic um, things and necessity. All right? For water, for food, all right? For space. All right? Because they think that the world is going to be overpopulated. It's already 7.5 billion. They think by a couple of years from now, it'll be 10, 15 billion. And they gonna get phased out, so they can't have that. So he took upon himself to, to this mission to cleanse the earth. <laughs> he saw you crazy, man. But at the end of the day, it's the Most High using you. The scripture says, was it Psalm seventeen thirteen? I think you start with verse twelve. Psalm chapter seventeen. Let's lock you. In verse 12, and it reads, Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places, arise, O Yahweh, Shimmy Shai, disappoint him. Disappoint him. Cast Dis him down. Cast him down. All right? Because, like we already going into, it, uh, the NWO. Yep. That's what's on display right now. And he's going to be disappointed because the Lord. This is, that's Job 14 and 5, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the Lord has his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah. You know, we think gonna feel his when think gonna fill his belly, they're gonna destroy him, man. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna taste of that fury. Yeah. You know, so he's gonna be Esau at the end of the day gonna be disappointed. The Lord allowed him set up a, a tiny bit to destroy two-thirds, yeah. you know, bring forth that judgment and all of that, or hold him be break loose, martial law, set up all of this police state, you see. But then when Esau really think, all right, now I'm about to really like try to like uh, rule the world and rise from the ashes and all of this BS, man, the Lord will destroy your ass, man. You're gonna the Lord not going to allow you to touch the elect, you know? Of course, some of the brothers are going to be martyrs, but the Lord going to raise them up, 
you know? So the Lord not gonna allow you, allow you to do, have your way with his with his men. They got set up, man. Yeah, and harsh judgments, man. Cruel judgments. Cruel judgments is prepared for you Israelites that has right. not repented, man. That's right. Okay. Let's talk to one of uh, people in my job. They said uh, one of the hairstylists' uh, husband got gunned down. We've seen an article. Mm. And we've seen the number 1442. Yeah. Gunned down in cold blood, man. See? That's why you gotta repent, man. That's right. That's why Yahweh Shah said that in Luke the 13th chapter. Unless he repent, he shall all likewise. That's right. We're gonna get that, man. And there's a there's a there's a powerful point Yahweh Shah brought out in that scripture too, man. Powerful, man. Because this is a point we're gonna read right now. Con. So um Luke 13 and verse 3. No, matter of fact, we saw one. Con. Luke 13 and 1. There were present at that season some that told him of the uh, Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Yeah, they, they took their blood and mingled with their sacrifices, man. All right, so they died a horrible death. Go ahead. And Yahweh, verse, verse 2, and Yahweh shy, answering, said unto them. That's a, that's a, ooh, that light, God. That's spirit. Spirit right above you. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. How you call it? Um, uh, it was, uh, and that's what Esau's about to do right now. Mingle your blood with his sacrifices. You people, you about to be blood sacrificed for the NWO. Go ahead. That's great. Right. Wow. Go ahead. Um, read on down. It says, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Gal 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 Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because... You, yeah, you, so Yahweh shall say, Would you think these Galileans were the biggest sinners? They were the greatest sinners. That's why they got this judgment. Read on. Because they suffer such things. Uh -huh. I tell you, nay. No. No. Just because they had a horrible death don't mean they were the worst of sinners. Yahweh Shai said what? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You know, it's the same thing. So just because you get preserved to the missiles don't mean you were the, the, the worst of sinners. All right? Nah, y'all, unless you repent, if you don't get down with Yahweh Shai, you're going to chase the same thing. All right? All right? A five-year-old girl. But she didn't do nothing. She was innocent. How did she, why did she get burned up into that thing? Unless he repent, he shall all likewise perish, man. Right? All right? Um, 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 and besides, the scripture says the most high required with that which is past. All right? So everybody got to pay for their sins they did in their past life, man. That's why you got to repent, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai got to be your covering. So like we said, you might have just been a, you know, that dude who got gunned down in Queens might have just been an average Jake family, you know, eating his pork chops, celebrating Memorial Day. Might have not have been on the streets hustling and gangbanging, but guess what? He suffered the same fate. Why? Because he didn't repent. Man. That's right. Didn't repent. Didn't repent, man. Unless you know, unless you get down with Yahweh Shemiel it doesn't matter, man. And, and, and that's the um, that's the thing that's coming very soon. People have to make yeah. a decision. Yeah. Who they going to serve? Either Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, or you're gonna get down with the B system, man. Yeah. But that's what that's what you saw setting up. It's NWO. You know, and you see and you see the image of the beast all around you. This whole society is pathing after the Roman Empire. You see? And you know, you saw setting up the NWO right before everyone's eyes. You see, so people have to make the decision. When you still come down with holy hell and say, listen, if you don't take this MC, you know, which is the MOTB, you know, you cannot function in society. You see, and they're gonna be deceiving people to take it. Yo, you know, they're doing it right they now. They're doing it right now. It's with the, incentive. That's right. They're doing it now, man. Like, and people fall for it, man. You know, you got to be real simple as hell anyway to fall for this shit. Because that it's just, the acting is so bad. Like, yeah. Blasio. I can't get over Blasio, man. Yo, is, is it too early to eat burgers? Burgers? Nine o'clock in the morning. You say, you think so? And then, yeah. and then, if people just use their mind and think, why are they offering all this money? Why are they offering me free donuts and Shake Shack burgers, you know, to Strip take club. this? Oh yeah, strip clubs. Go oh yeah, VIP yeah. line. You go to the VIP, you go ride in the limo. Yeah, yeah. You know, they say you go ride in the limo. You know, who will give you a free ride? Who will give you free rides? Like, and you this know, is Jake, crazy, man. Jake, that want to be in the clubs, they gonna do. They gonna be like, oh wait, if I get the jab, if I get juice stuff, I could go in the VIP section, get a free lap dance, <laughs> and then <laughs> these Edomites, they're, they're, they're actors, these news reporters. This dude said, I came up with some name for him. He said, jab. He said, jab for a jiggle. You know, so you're gonna take the you're gonna take the jab to get some jiggles, bro. You know, these people are through, and we know Jay's gonna fall for that, man. They're gonna get deceived, you know? 
And guess what? As it's written in the scripture, the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. And most eyes deceive. Me give over to a strong delusion that you're gonna believe a goddamn lie, man. Y'all yeah, don't fall for the hokey dope. You are right. through, man. <laughs> For pleasing your flesh, man. Pleasing your flesh. And then uh, Hebrews, was that 11th chapter? If I may read it right fast. And you can also get uh, Galatians 5, I think 20. Okay, like come yeah. I'll get that first. Galatians 5 and 20. I'll get that because, first. Uh, because, uh, and that's all the society teach. It's to please your flesh. Right? The more wickedness, man. That's what I get. It's a good thing I didn't bring out the signs today, man. It's just this rain shit, man. The spirit of the Lord is good, man. Right. See, this is still that, that's how you know these Jakes, man. Y'all better hurry up. Because it's, it's getting to that time. And I think what just happened with spiritual with the light just turned on, then turned off. Yeah. It's like the light turned right up right above us. Let yeah. us know we have the light. Yeah. Then it turned off like that day is coming, the night is coming. Yeah, the night you know, is coming. Night coming. No man can work. No man can work. You know, so I said I, I took that as man. That man because we, we have the light, yeah, how was shot. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it's like the little times that you'll keep that light, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The night coming, like the brother said, with no man gonna work. Ain't gonna meet him a proper sign. And, and that and the Lord, is, I mean, that shows you what the Lord is still stretching out his hands for you, Jakes, man. Still, you know, still. 2020, everybody knew 2020 was an epic year because the judgment was just rapid. Most of us getting everybody. And like we said, 2020 happened because 2020 vision. It was time for you niggas to wake up, man. Yeah, see, be able to see years, clearly. Be able to see clearly, this is it. And it was the beginning of a new um, decade as well. That's right. The spirit is changing, man. Every, every decade has a different spirit. Yeah. Right, so these these uh, two thousand twenties, it's a different spirit. We're in a time of salvation, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we've been here for um, most of our people came here sixteen twenty. Two tribes was here. Oh yeah, a lot of you uh, New Testament. You are the Yah Israelites talking about four hundred years, which yeah, it has been four hundred years. But don't that when that, most I was talking about that, I was talking about during the time of Egypt, right? But yeah, it's time for us to be about to get delivered, man. Then they'll try to bring up the point that during Egypt he was there for 430 years, but guess what? Joseph, you know, when he was there, uh, the affliction didn't start to 30 years after. You know, basically uh, sparking up the, the time of the 400 years, 30 years, you know, Joseph was there, but then the new pharaoh rose up, they didn't know Joseph, and yeah. they started the affliction. And at the end of the day, the, the most I don't deal with exact, it don't gotta be exact. Man. Yeah, it don't, man. Like the Lord, just like he said in um, Babel, the Babylonian captivity was seven years, the 67 years, it's just um, the most high brought judgment three years earlier man I'll tell you that thing of jeremiah 25 so it's the same thing now all right which like, the most oh. i didn't say 400 years now but uh uh he's speeding up the time man huh, i'll be like a day and a night chapter and go about the 70 weeks yeah yeah you yeah, know, yeah, going yeah. 400 on um, what's that 400, 490 um, years 490 years but it was around like 490 to 500 years yeah you know to when the messiah yeah, yeah, shot yeah. yeah. so yeah that's because that's what they they tried to uh the elders and apostles broke down how the leadership came up with the 2000 prophecy because um, they, they uh, the 42 months uh, the, um, no, the 42 years and uh, it came but the Lord's the Lord work on his time yeah yeah you see and yes Esau is on borrowed time you Edomites are on borrowed time man mm -hmm. but judgment got to play out right they got to play like the brother talking about the 430 years instead of four judgment got to play out man now we at the time this is the end why because he gave the two major prophecies we see world war three is brewing mm -hmm. all right that's going to happen american america blaming everything on russia or oh, russia this hacker group russia this hacker or oh, china china this china that and the reason why you got c19 is because um it's the china virus right so they throwing shots at china especially when trump was there now they, they throwing shut shots at russia these hacker groups right and plus they get into iran then you got um, these Amalekites attacking Palestine. Mm -hmm. America siding with Amalek, and the rest of the world siding with Palestine. So it's, it's division. And then now we got the the, we, the main thing we're looking at it is is the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, and East already is already in Europe. It's already over here. You got the Amazon one. Uh, wallet pay with more. your yeah. Pay with your palm. You got the digital wallet. Everybody talking about crypto, right? And then they have the thing now, which every brother did a video on that. And they took it down immediately. Oh man! Where they said they could put it in you, and they could tell you the symptoms, yeah, yeah, that you're about to get. It's here, bro. 
And the fact that they took down every brother's video, took down their channel, took down the video strikes because of that article right there, man, it shows that we are speaking the truth. Yeah. And the truth is hurting these souls. It's hurting them. Yeah. Because I did a whole video uh, on uh, the M, and uh, they took that video down. Mm. It was uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter. Mm. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. You know? Hopefully, it don't rain all day, but even if it do. Revelation, chapter 16, start of verse 1. Kind. Revelation 16 and 1. And I heard a great voice out of the, out of the temple saying to the seven angels. Go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon the earth. Yeah, that's playing out right now. And we know the last plague is the nuclear missiles, man. All right, that's the last plague. That's the fire, all right? That's the wrath of the, that's the um, fire of the Most High's um, anger, man. Yeah, yeah. All right? To totally annihilate this place off the face of the earth. That's how he feels about Babylon. But guess what? The elect is all about the elect being sealed. You niggas keep talking about the nation. Well, you could go right ahead, okay? If you want to wait on a nation, you're never going to leave here. You're going to get burned up, man. Right. We're not waiting on every Israelite to get this thing, man. This truth is this, this not about that, man. The Lord is dealing with the, um, a remnant. A remnant. He always dealt with the, the remnant. When Yahweh Shah was here, he was concerned with the remnant. Wasn't the Pharisees and Sadducees Israelites? He, was, he wasn't concerned with them niggas. Because he already knew they weren't going to get it. Right. And you fact, them Pharisees back then are back here today. Oh, Yahweh Shai didn't do any miracles. We know who you are. Oh, John the Baptist was a nigger doing his own thing. We already know who you are. Oh, the name of the Lord is not important. We already know who you are. Oh, the mark is not the, um, the chip. Which, so yeah. if I may add, now that I think about it, that's real spiritual. Because then the, first, the, the wicked scribes of the Pharisees say, don't teach in his name. Yeah, in Acts the fourth chapter. And, and now you got... Jake's out here saying the name of the Lord don't matter. Me saying you should don't teach in this name Yahweh Shai. Because mm. I, I bet you so many congregations say, listen, I believe the name is Yahweh Shai. They're going to tell them, no, we don't have the name, don't teach in that name. So it shows who they are, man. You know? They're, those, those are the wicked scribes and Pharisees coming back. And you may have so many elects scattered amongst them that the Lord going to have it where they separate, man. You know? Like, I, mean, I know, like, on, um, on a social media platform, there's one from um, Jake who once was in IUIC, but now he's not. He left and now he's calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's teaching the MOTB, is the is the MC, he's teaching the correct doctrine. But he once was in the IUIC and they were trying to go at him because he was in the IUC, he left and all of this. So it just goes to show the time of yin and who's it's like the Lord is showing us uh what's that, Malachi the fourth you chapter. You want to move on down? It's just on the smell now. Okay, come on, yeah, if you can. Oh yeah, I even noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me move on down just a little bit. Yeah, right here. The yeah, hair's good. Yeah, fine, fine. And it's going to how you're going to have to discern the Mac 4 chapter from the righteous and the wicked. And it's clear as day who the, who the wicked is and who the uh, hopeful elect is, man. Yeah, you, you niggas are. Which, you know, the Lord, if you if they are men of the Lord, some of the, uh, um, them guys, the Lord going to beat your ass, man. A lot of you niggas are about to get a spanking, man. On the logo, jack what? Oh, he's spanking. Make put your wife to death, put your kids to death. All right, may do. He gonna do something drastic, man. Mm -hmm. You gonna know this is the hand of the Lord coming up against you, man. Right, I got Most it. Most I gotta do that because you niggas, you stiff hearted, man. You stiff neck, man. All right. Some something crazy gonna happen to some of these congregations, man. Matter of fact, uh, Psalms 127 and one. It's not gonna jack a lot of you niggas up, man. If you are part of the elect, a lot of you just gonna be destroyed, man. Right? You you niggas ain't right no way. All right? Cause you took the bag, man. You, know, you took that bag, man. You sold out. You sold your congregation and your people out for material material gain. And he's about to phase out this currency anyway. What's this nigga named Yohanna? He gonna uh tell you take uh the MOT? Well, he basically telling you. He told the dude in Sakari, uh, Deacon Akar, uh, when the thing come out, you gonna take it. How you gonna eat? So he know it's the MOTB. Back then, he said he spoke to Yohanna on the phone. And Yohanna told him, he said, uh, 
you're going to take the MOTV when it come out. How you expect to eat? So he know exactly what that's talking about. Johanna's not dumb. Nate is not dumb. Okay? But the scripture tells you what? The gift blinds the eyes of the what? The wise, man. Okay? And, and it shows that he has no faith in to make a statement like that. Yeah, yeah. Because of Isaiah, the 65th chapter, verse 13, the Lord said, My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. The Lord going to make way for his servants to eat, man, no matter what. You know? And, and these Jays that take the MOTB, they still, they're going to die. You know, a lot of them are going to, just because it says you can buy and sell with it, that don't mean they're going to have the means to, to be able to buy and sell. The Lord going to judge them, man. You know? You see, the Lord going to judge them. They take that, the Lord going to, all right, you know, he's marked for death, marked for death, she marked for death, this little child is marked for death. You know, the Lord gonna have to look out for his elect though. So for him to make a statement like that shows he had no faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Or like, oh, if you don't take it, how you gonna eat? We don't know how we gonna eat, but we gonna eat though. We have abundance. We gonna be merry. We gonna rejoice while you're mourning if you take it. That's the point of faith. We don't know. That's why we see Revelation 16. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go back to it. Yeah, so. yeah, there's a point I want to get out. A lot of you marked to death with Maxine. Like we said, the most time may have mercy on some of you. Because it is, it is set up that way that um, the brother's going to be able to heal <clears throat> some of you jakes that got illnesses. And that's how you're going to be converted and healed. Mm -hmm. um, Come into the faith, the one third. But most of you mark for death, man. Most of you mark for death, man. Right? Because your mind is already on the image of the beast. We have family members and, and some friends, well, of course, co-workers, who took the shit, man. Yeah, some of them you might, some of them you might love, man. You know? But they took it, man. Now, like we said, whether the most high person on him or not, that's on him. But we know the majority of them, they out of there. Right? They out of there. All right? Because they were already forewarned not to do it, man. All right? This thing is hazardous and it's, it's dangerous, man. All right? You put experimental technology in your body, man. Mm. And Esau tell you they got nano shit, all kind of wicked ass shit in that thing, man. And you going to put it in because you want to go back to what normal life the shit was never normal in the first place man or you want to go back to the stadium and the games and the club and go back to traveling man. like we said how many how long it's gonna last before he do something else and lock shit back down and then it's like all of this all of this what man it's all vanity you know the, the basketball games you know the music today is, is trash everything is vanity you want to go to concerts and the clubs females shaking they stink but it's all vanity and it's trash and it's whack yeah. We're looking for the kingdom, man. We don't want to be here that much longer, you know? So for you to take it, it shows that you, you're, uh, you're um, drunk with the wine of Babylon. You love it here, you know? You, you love be, uh, being an, an Egyptian, man. You know, you trust in Egypt. The shadow of Egypt, this place is done. The scriptures say the fashion of this world passes away. So we, that's why, that's the spirit out of um, the elder parts of the heart who the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shah, deemed this year what? The year of hastening. Because and, and it's so spiritual, all this serious silence. We're hastening to get up out of this place, man. You know, for the heavenly father, Yahweh, to sit back to beloved son, Yahweh Shai. We don't want to be that much longer, man. It's, no, it's never been normal for us, period, because it's not our rest. You know, and then he's talking about the new normal. You know, you got you to be juiced up to work. You got to do all of this. Man, this, this place is done. You know, they, they oh, you, your kid could just transform himself and all of this. This place got to go. You know, man, the more you meditate on it, if you're in the right mind and the right spirit, you get tired of just waking up to your alarm clock. Brothers, you know, brothers got clock and go to work and all this. Man, I'm tired of this place, man. You know, so rent and bills and all of this, car insurance, car notes. You know, this place got to go, man. You know, it just this got to go. You see, and, and tell all you wicked Jake sellouts that's gonna sell out your people. You know, that's gonna tell them to take the juice. Then tell them the Lord don't care if you take the um the the seed. Yeah, he said that too. Remember, he said, "Oh, do you think the most I care if you take a seed?" Yeah, he was just talking about something. He, something clicked in his mind, like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." Y'all talking about that? Take that thing and stop that foolishness. Right. And yeah, they don't trust your white ass Esau. That's why I understand why people want to take it. But listen, man, just go ahead and take that thing. A dust what double minded. Double minded. He says man. A, a fool changes as the moon. That's right. One minute he's a devil, but take it. And Tazari Yak, the captain, right? Oh yeah, Yahweh's not his name. We just say that. We just say. Hey, you, you, the you, title. You, you, you losing done, the oil. Man. You losing the oil. You losing it, man. That's what happened when you side with niggas, man. Yeah. Because you were also on your expedition with this John the Baptist foolishness. You actually try to get scriptures to prove that John the Baptist wasn't right, man. So you, your oil is leaking. He's taking the very knowledge that you had, man. 
all right? And you may get jacked up before you get right, man. All right? All right, what you got? Because brothers had dreams about you. The Lord had to um, go humble you, man. Because how you can't see your honor is not right, man. Like, it don't take much to see that. It's a nigga right there, man. But what it is, he has position, and they getting them charters, they getting them stipends and that money, and he's too busy trying to be a celebrity. All right? We and I set up in this thing to be celebrities, man. Okay? Most I send us out here to preach the gospel, whether Jake listen or not. We're not trying to make this shit sound smooth so to attract more followers and, and build our own profile. This truth is not about that, man. So everybody caught up into the social media shit, man. Was that scripture? I think it's, it's a he was 10 and 13. How the word of the most high is sharper than any two edged sword. Well, 4 and 12. 4 and 12. So like he was 4 and 12, man. Yeah. The word of the most high is sharper than any two edged sword. Man, piercing asunder, even dividing uh, the, the hearts and joints and marrow. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to get offended, man. Yeah. You know, when I, when I first started learning about the truth, a lot of things I was doing wasn't right. And I was getting cut. I was like, oh, snap. Ah, damn, I got to change. I got I to, you know, I was getting offended. You know, but then, then, but did I allow myself to get emotional? But like, I know, nah, man, I tried to change my ways for y'all watching me on shot. And you know, the crazy thing is too, even Sonetta pulling more scripts. <laughs> yeah, Sonetta. Yo, man. even Sonetta more on point than Sakari. He more on point and on than Tazari. Y'all, that's crazy. And he just he pulled that one scripture that might have first chapter. Yeah. And cut his whole and thing. And Tazari couldn't even. He didn't even know other. He could have got more scriptures if he knew. Yeah. More scriptures going to that. He, so know, he just pulled that one scripture. Yeah, and then he because Sakari, he was like, yo, this. You guys supposed to be high priests. You got whores at your Passover, brother? <laughs> yeah, like, what, like, what are you That's doing, man? Yeah. And he was right on that, man. Yeah, he was. Nobody could defend you, man. That's the that's one of the most important high holy days. Yeah, Howard oh, Shai laying his life down because that's what the Passover really represents, man. Right. He's a sacrificial lamb and his blood cover us, man. Yeah, he shed his blood for us. Man. His blood redeemed us, right? Because when you look at the... We've always... Which, you know, that's what redeem means to buy back or... You give in exchange for another's life, right? When you committed a sin, you give a sacrifice in order for you. That sacrifice redeemed you. You give that in exchange so you can live. That's the whole point of Yahweh Shai. He died so that we can live, man. That's what the Passover represents. Are you bringing all this at the Passover? You couldn't wait till after the seven days was up, man? To go back in the club, man? Right? And the spirit already was out on the elders and apostles are now to tell brothers to stay away from these type of places, man. All right? Hell, the shit that you were capable of doing years ago, well, as we get closer to the end, a lot of the things you can't do anymore, man. See? All right? And it's, it's number wickedness in them clubs any damn way, man. See? We're at the Passover, bro. Come on, man. Like, that's, that's crazy shit, man. And a non-believer had to tell you about that? That's and on top of that, you tried to defend it. You couldn't say, yeah, I was wrong. Right, that was initially until more and more and more and more people came. Then he, you know. But, you know, them guys, they still proud, man. Yeah. Because, like, the brother said, they still with the guns and this yeah. truth. Yo, what's wrong with you guys, I man? I don't know. All right? They living up to the, the, the names. Yeah, the it's Lord, Sakari. Yeah. The Lord put upon them to come up with that name for themselves. They ain't yeah. living up to it. Lord directed your steps. If I read Revelation 16. Come on, come on. I'll start verse 1 again. Revelation 16 and 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of the heavenly father upon the earth. And the first went and poured.